are alive and working and out there doing their thing. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's cool. So I, I you know, I applaud that. Okay, so uh, let's see, we're going to do like four compositions since I've been, uh, since we've been quarantined. I don't know. The muse hit me and the, 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 the uh, you know, it, a lot of songs came in, all different styles, you know. I, uh, I'm a school teacher, so I teach uh, kindergarten, uh, pre-K through Eighth grade, uh, Catholic school, St. Sephirosa, and uh, St. Mary Star of the Sea. Put that on there for documentary purposes. Yep, so I'm going to perform for you, or we're going to perform for you four songs. So the first song that we're going to perform is a song called Expose. And Expose is, uh, I guess, my protest since this is the climate that we're living in right now. And I won't give you too much information other than the, it was inspired by, I got a chance to do a lot of reading, so it was inspired by this uh, this uh, Jamaican-American uh, anthropologist that wrote books in the, in the 20s, and his name was uh, J.A. Rogers. Uh, and he wrote this book called From Superman to Man. And it's a great book because uh, it's basically a whole story about him and this guy on the train, and, and they're going back and forth about, uh, you know, he's trying to one up them, up him, and, and talk about, you know, uh, racism, and he's coming back with all of this science and, and information, and you know, not only about our people, but his people and everyone else, because he's an anthropologist, so he went all over the world to make his point on the train, and it was, it was, uh, it, and it's very, very interesting. But the cover of the book, it says. Uh, from Superman to Man, an expose on, on racism. So the book is basically talking about how ridiculous the whole concept of it is, you know what I mean? And uh, you know, because us artists, we just want to play. So I, I, I'll now see some of us to play with you. Thank you. 
person in the family to play jazz or play music at all uh, uh, and my parents some, I remember my mom coming in sometimes while I was listening to Charlie Parker and this had to be the first time they ever heard some of this stuff you know because I'm coming from Texas you know I grew up on a lot of R&B and gospel and stuff like that and uh, and my mom I remember my mom looking picking in one day and she said Fred are you all right because <laughs> I'm in there with this little, 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 you know, I'm in there, we like, we get in there, you know, like, we just going, you know, going in, my mom was like, what the, you know, what is that, you know, so I'm like, yeah, I'm cool, mom, you don't want to go outside and play? I looked at her, I was like, oh, no, I'm good, because I spent the whole summer, I was shedding on, on bird, you know, and uh, anyway, she said, Okay, well, uh, your your daddy Ernest got to get up in the morning. So, uh, can you keep it down a little bit? And I was like, okay, I'm gonna put a sock in it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's what, it, <laughs> and that's what, so I can keep playing. You know, uh oh. And also, that's a play on, on words. You know, put a sock in. Let me get on it. You ready? One, two.
Too much into the science of the decimal. I just I looked it up, but uh, basically Dewey Redman is a, a musician that's from Fort Worth, Texas, and that's what my whole uh, study is. I'm doing right now. It's called the Erudition Project, which I uh, just recently recent, recently did a, a recording uh, with 
some musicians in Chicago, Mr. Corey Wilkes, uh, Harrison Bankhead, and Avril Ra. And um, you know, if you guys would like one of those, the CDs are right there in the Ear Edition project. I'm just gonna grab it real quick. So you know what it looked like when you see it. And then they all have uh, this beautiful artwork on the in inside. Here's Mandalas, which is by my wife, Hot Trine, right there. So yeah. Get you one of these. This is great because this is uh basically you know document documenting my uh, compositional efforts. So uh, please support the musicians. Here we go. Uh, so this next one, Dewey's Decimal. Dewey Dewey Redman uh, is a uh, father of Joshua Redman. You guys may be familiar with Joshua Redman. But Dewey Redman was another guy that played along with uh, Arnett Coleman and uh, out of full work. And, and this is dedicated to him. You ready? One, two.
last one is, uh, thank you guys, it's, uh, dedicated to uh, my grandmother. Uh, it's ha it has a little Southwest Texas flavor. Tex-Mex, because <laughs> that's what we eat down there. And also, uh, my, my grandmother um, is uh, eight, 90, 85, yeah, she's 90, 95, I think, woo, yeah, but her name is Armizel Smith, and uh, it's on my father's side, she's on my father's side, and man, we call her mother, everybody call her mother, mother is, uh, well, she's a beautiful person, and uh, yeah, my grandmother, her name is Armizel Smith, and this tune is called Omi. We've been playing this one for a little while, so. You got it, Jimmy. Jimmy, where's that?
attention. Okay. Fred Jackson Jr. Give it up for yourself. Paul. Thank you uh, for uh, letting us uh, have this lovely space here. And Molly. Thank you, Molly. Beautiful garden. This is beautiful. You guys can't come see it right now because <laughs> you can come by and look at it. But no, really though. Yeah, uh, yeah, if you come, it's really nice, a nice garden. And uh, you should come by and check it out. It's beautiful. Anyway, thank you over here on this side. Thank you, thank you neighbors. And uh, your addition project, and we'll see you hopefully soon. I will repost this. And uh, like I said, if you guys like to take us home with you, you can. Uh, there's a CD there, the your addition project. And also, make, make sure I, I pull up this one, because I actually like started a little label uh, it's called Space Tonic Music, and this is actually the first one uh, that was done by another artist, because I was basically trying to publish my own music, so that's what the first uh, thing was, and then I had another one from a group that I played in, that I still play in, but from uh, we played for about like 15 years here, Chicago-born Magic Carpet, which is a double disc CD, this has uh, Makai McCraven, uh, Parrish Hicks, Timmy L. Bay, Ryan Mayer, uh, also there's Tracy King that's in the group now, and of course myself, and this is like live at the Promontory, which was Par uh, Parrish Hicks' last major concert. Killing bass player, Chicago born and bred, uh, passed away too soon. So uh, yeah, but Killing live concert. So uh, if you want to feel like you went somewhere and you want to feel live somewhere, buy one of these. <laughs> And you can go, you can party down. And this next one is also a live CD, which is uh, uh, Jimmy Bennett's in Color and Sound. And this one we did live at the um, at the Jazz Estate in Milwaukee. It was an accident. Yeah. Dustin Lorenzi was a friend of mine. He's in the group. Uh, there's actually a lot of people in this group. Uh, Artie Black is in this group as well. Uh, uh, let me make sure I get it. Matt, kid, uh, Dad, Dad, yeah, but I'm but for this CD, yes. Davy Priest, this uh, and Justin Lorenzi. Lorenzi joins myself and, and Jimmy. And of course, there's another beautiful mandala by my wife. And uh, the artwork was done by Tammy Roman. And uh, yeah, so what happened, I put my iPad in, in the front of my stage because I was just trying to uh, record myself to see how bad I suck, you know, because I was been teaching a lot, <laughs> you know what I mean? And it was the first time I touched my instrument that day and there's things you're always working on as a musician. So you want to check in with yourself. The best way to do it sometimes is to listen back to yourself. Anyway, uh, so I had mine and then Dustin came and he stuck his phone beside, beside him. And, and we played and I'm driving back from Milwaukee. I'm like, you know, it felt, it felt horrible. You know, it's one of them things where it felt horrible, but when you went back and listened to it, you was like, damn, the band was killing. You know what I'm saying? And I can live with what I did, you know what I mean? You know, because I was going for it, I didn't care. So, it was cool. And we played two sets. The second set, you probably never hear because uh, I play in this group, flute, soprano, saxophone, and alto. And mind you, I'm a school teacher that wakes up at 5.30 in the morning. So this was a 5.30 in the morning, middle, uh, uh, middle of the week gig. So I woke up at 5.30 in the morning and had a gig with Jimmy and them at seven in Milwaukee. And then I was playing by the second set. <laughs> I was playing. <laughs> and Jimmy likes to call all the tunes. He don't ever like to call stuff like all alto, all soprano, all flute. Because he's trying to paint pictures. That's why the group is called Color and Sound. So he called it all kinds of stuff. I'm like, woo, 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 clapping and stuff. You know, there's all kinds of stuff happening, man. But, uh, uh, <laughs> But it turned out to be great. I'm listening to it on the way back. I'm like, this is killing. So I called my guy, Todd, uh, Todd Carter. I was like, man, you think we could do something with this? He said, wait, you got two two tracks? I was like, yeah. He said, well, we can get a nice stereo mix. I was like, cool. And then I uh, hooked it up, and then I took it to my man, uh, uh, John Kudan, who's right there on the, on the, uh, on the uh, cameras right there. And he did what, uh, what you say, Jimmy? He put that, that blue note. He trimmed the fat off and sent it down the river. There you go. There you go. <laughs> exactly. And it turned out to be a, a, a gorgeous uh, work of art. And mind you, uh, these mandalas, uh, what Ha does, she just listens to the music 
and she creates the first thing that comes to her from what she's listening to. So these are our, you know, beautiful works of art. When you consider it like that, you know, somebody listening to it and, and then they just come up with this, that's gorgeous. This is beautiful. Anyway, so. Uh, so these are uh, 10, uh, minus 10, a double disc, so 20. So, yeah, beautiful. Anyway, once again, Jimmy Benetton, High Park Jazz Society. Thank you, everybody.